Well, hello and welcome to Sport 100. Today we have a very special guest in the studio. He is one of only 47 people to have had the honor of fighting Floyd Mayweather Jr. South Africa's very own Philip Ndu joins us in the studio. Philip, very lovely to have you. As a matter of fact, we are so honored to have you. Thank you for taking time out of your very busy schedule to join us. I thank you for inviting me to come here in the studios. All right, right off the bat, Philip, we have to get into the question everyone wants to know. What does it feel like to be in the ring and fight Floyd Mayweather Jr.? Look, I'll say it feel, it's normal. Because normal. Floyd Mayweather is, he's a human being. He's, like, he's, he's a boxer. He's like me, he's like everybody. So as much as we, 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 I give respect to each, each and every boxer in the world, but this is, it's, there's no thing about fighting my weather. This is no, it's the same as fighting anyone in the world. Right now, before you fought Mayweather, your record stood at 31 and one going into that fight in 2003. Yeah. What was the shift like stepping into the ring? Now you had beaten 30 other opponents hands down, yeah. including Cassius Beloit. Mm -hmm. What was it like stepping into the ring with Floyd Mayweather? What was the difference? For me, it was like wow. I'm here. I've arrived it's the bigger, <laughs> you know, a, a television station in, in the world. I'm now fighting top top boxers, and I'm like, wow! I wouldn't believe that I, I, I could fight Mayweather one day, mm -hmm. but it happened, and and I was so glad to fight him. But what was the speed like in the ring? Mayweather's speed is, is very, you know, it's very very. He's very quick, mm -hmm. and he's very slicky. Look, there's nothing to take away from the man. Mm -hmm. As much as I fought him, he knocked me out. But look. The man is quick, right. and I respect him for what he is today, what he does in the ring, and 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 look as much as I as much as I always say I would love to fight him again, mm -hmm. fight him here in, in Africa, mm -hmm. South Africa. I would love to have that to happen. Well, really. we're going to try and put that fight together for you somehow. We're, we're not trying. We have to do it. All right, let's backtrack a little bit. Was your meeting with Mayweather in terms of experience unexpected? Did you not expect that kind of speed? Were you somehow not? professionally prepared for that fight when you look back? Look, I won't say I, I was not prepared for that fight. I was, I was prepared for that fight. Um, for me to be rated number one in the world and under Mayweather, it means that I, I was always prepared to fight. I knew one day I'm going to meet him because I'm, I'm rated and in his division number one. So f for me to fight him was like it was a great thing, experience to say, look, I'm getting inside the ring with one of the best pound for pound in the world. But people, they forget that I'm also the only boxer in, in, in Africa who's got the belt called pound for pound belt in Africa. I'm the only one who's got that belt. So people, they always forget that I'm the only one, only boxer in Africa who's, been, who's got mostly knockouts in, 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 my, in my record. Right. Uh, that fight was very historic. As a matter of fact, I don't know if you know it, Larry Merchant described the fifth round yeah. as the best round of that year. And of course, George Foreman, the legendary George yeah, Foreman, yeah. he said that you represented South Africa with pride, that you were a man of great tenacity and great heart. How does those comments make you feel? Those comments they feel, feel, make me feel very happy and make me feel honored that, you know, look, there are people who do recognize me outside as one of the best boxers to be uh, produced ever in Africa. And, I, and I'm happy, and I'm still happy. But like I said, I need a few more fights to, to be out of, to, to retire soon boxing. I'm not young anymore. Okay. And, 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 and my manager, Promise Moy, she's always saying, Philip, you have to focus, stay in the gym, stay healthy. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy to have a manager like her because, you know, when you have a manager always putting that pressure, not pressure to, 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 to demolish you, but pressure to push you to say, look, you can still make it. You can still be on top there. Right. Yeah, so I'm happy. And I know that it will happen. If Mayweather's interested to fight me mm -hmm. again, let's do it in Africa. All right. Now, Philip, if you were to get that fight, what would you do differently? Do you know what I would do? I can't give that, that now. <laughs> now, if it's going if, if it, if to happen, the fight is not going and work on that. So, But look, if it happens, if I know that I can beat Mayweather. I, I've, I've been looking uh, at him every time when he's fighting. I've done that. Um, he's going to beat uh, slowly mm -hmm. when he punches, but he's... He's very, he's got power. Mm -hmm. So what I can change to myself is that Mayweather is, is, is beatable. He's beatable. He, he's beatable. Just that the man... We might quote you on that. 
you look, the, yeah, the man is gifted. The man, he, he puts everything to his training. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I believe that I am mm -hmm. still the only one boxer yeah. who can beat Mayweather. All right. Uh, Philip, Mayweather may not, he may be tired of this particular question, and that is who's going to win between a Mayweather and Pacquiao should that fight happen? Let's get your opinion as a professional boxer, as someone who's been in the ring with Mayweather, and someone who really understands what it is to take a punch and give a punch. You know, um, between Pacquiao and, May and Mayweather, this fight was supposed to happen a long time ago. If, if it happened maybe four years ago, I'll give the fight to, to Pacquiao. But if it's happening now, I'm going to give this fight to Mayweather. Really? Yes. If the fight happened four years ago, Pacquiao's going to win the fight. Okay. That brings me to our next question. Mayweather, Pacquiao rather, fought Algeri. What is the difference between uh, Algeri, Mayweather versus Pacquiao? But look, uh, I would say right now, Pacquiao, the way it was before, is, is, is no more like that. So even this fight, I, I, I checked this last fight now. Yeah. He was not the Pacquiao that I know. Mm -hmm. Who's got that speed and movement on the legs, mm -hmm. the hands? It's more now, I think it's more now relaxed. Or maybe after they, they, they was out for four years or three years, he was out resting. Mm -hmm. I think he took something away from him. That oomph of saying, look, I am Pacquiao. Like I said, I'm saying, I can put my money down for saying, look, if the fight happens with Mayweather now, yes. Mayweather's going to win the fight with a knockout. Right. He will beat Pacquiao. If the fight happens four years ago or yeah. five years ago, Pacquiao was going to beat Mayweather. All right, we're going to quote you on that, and we're going to tweet, tweet that yeah. all over the world. Yeah. All right, where's Philip Ndu now in his career? Philip Ndu now in his career now, he's preparing for a fight now to fight in, in Mosina mm -hmm. in, in, uh, in December on the 13th. Um, fighting, I will be fighting with number number one or number two in the country. Mm -hmm. His name is Mamela. Dutuku Mamela, I'll be fighting him. Look, um, I, I will need more fights to, 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 be recognized, to be recognized again in the world to get back to that stage. I'll, I'll love that to happen. Your record down is 40 and? It's now, my record is now 40 fights. 40 fights. If I'm not mistaken, my manager knows more of those, but <laughs> okay. she's always checking. Right. That's why you have to have a manager okay. to look to look on all, 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 all those things. Mm -hmm. So, um, look, I, I, I'm, I'm better with my record. I'm happy with my record. I'm happy with what I, what I did. Mm -hmm. it, it says here you're 40 and 4. Yeah, so I'm happy with my record. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy. It's not bad. Since 2003, you only lost three fights, yeah. and you've pushed the record all the way up to 40. What more can South Africa, the government, the Boxing Association do for boxers like you who still want to get back to the top spot in the limelight in Las Vegas? Let's put money where it belongs, where the money belongs in boxing. Put money there. Because mm -hmm. boxing is one of the sports that brings people together. Mm -hmm. and, and I believe that if the money is put in right hands, it can do a good job. L last night I was at the Sports Awards with Fikile Balola, who is doing a very, very good job. Mm -hmm. You know, to make sure that boxing also is recognized in this country like before. Um, uh, we're there, people that were given um, prizes, and then one of the ladies won the car yesterday, last night. She's a soccer player. And I was like, this man is doing something. Is When you, you, you give uh, courage to somebody, you push that person, they go and do more. Right. Knowing that there's someone's pushing me, someone's doing something for me. I'm like, they say, ah, oh, it's Philip no, okay, he's doing very fine, he's fighting. But there's nothing you put in him to look to push him. So Mbalo is doing a very good job. I'm very happy with what he's doing. I mean, Kune did also win a Sportsman of the Year. Last time it was, it was a lady. I don't know how they put it, a Sportsman of the Year or Sportswoman of the Year. <laughs> but she, 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 she did, she won last night. What she would say? Once again, Philip Ndu, thank you for your time and thank you for taking time out to come see us. And we hope to see you again right at the top in Las Vegas in the very near future. Thank you. Richard, thank you very much. It was an honor for me. It's an honor for us. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>